No matter how big or small, electric vehicles have been my biggest passion ever for years now. Any chance I get to drive or ride one is the best day ever. I'm also kind of known for doing lots of Craigslist pickups, usually for reptiles, but I've done hundreds of meetups to buy and sell all sorts of things. And today is one of the most exciting. I'm gonna be using the trailer that I got on a previous Craigslist pickup in a previous video to go get my newest electric vehicle today. So yeah, let's, let's go. I'm all packed up and ready to go. This is the heaviest thing I've towed, but it shouldn't be a problem. It's only about a thousand pounds total, it, but getting it on the trailer was a bit sketchy. The guy there didn't think it was gonna happen, but we did it. But getting it off, I feel like will be a little bit scarier. Now that I've done countless Craigslist pickups, I've really figured out what are the, like, what the perfect formulas are. And this one was everything combined. One, it's a very clunky item that even if you have a pickup truck or a van, you still can't get it. You literally have to have a trailer to pick this up. And two, the person selling it can't deliver it to you because most people just get them delivered to their homes. Meaning that even though lots of people want the item, not many people can get it and they have to lower the price a lot. And finally, the other nice thing is when the seller is a bit more wealthy, simply because they don't care about the extra few hundred dollars that they might miss by not listing it by quite as much. So they only own this for a year, but they still depreciated it over 30%, most likely because they don't exactly need the cash, they're not exactly hurting for cash. But it can also go the other way sometimes, where if someone's really desperate for money, like selling a reptile for five bucks, you're gonna get a much better deal. But I'm not complaining, and now I have an hour to drive back. I checked beforehand to make sure this uh, there were enough charging slots here because one, I had to fit, and two, I didn't want to block off the charger if cars were waiting or whatever. Today we're going to be looking for some frogs. Um, there's a frog pond over there, and we're going to go uh, catch one. Like any vehicle, it deserves a couple mods. It has this really loud beeping sound when you either get off the mower or when it's in reverse. So I covered it up with duct tape and now it's a lot quieter. I also put a pole on the back so that I can attach this.
as a YouTuber, I tend to enjoy free things, and I was hoping Ryobi would send me a mower in return for like some videos and some plugs and sponsorships, because I used a ton of their items all the time for reptile stuff. They didn't have an email or a number, so I had to mail them, so I mailed them this, and I never heard back. I'm also considering vinyl wrapping it the same color as the Tesla, because that would just be kind of funny. But this thing is seriously pretty quick. The problem is there's like no suspension. <laughs> See, if I had gotten sent a free one, I wouldn't have been allowed to do that stuff on camera, but I can do whatever I want to because I paid for it. I want to see which one was faster. I guess it's not a very close race. They perform better in different areas. It is pretty nice moving things around though. I'm able to just haul loads of like dirt and stuff without any effort whatsoever. I can even move, here, let me show you this. This trailer is not compatible with a jack because of the shape that it's built. As long as I'm just a little bit clever. I, I swear it's worked the first time. Do you at least understand the point I'm trying to prove? I'm sure I can figure out a way to do it. So obviously, I could have just gotten a mo an, 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 an ice, what's it called? Obviously, I could have just gotten a gasoline powered one for like a few hundred bucks, but I just figured I'd always be wanting this one and just always thinking about it. So I, I, I didn't mean to go backwards. So I was like, whatever, I'll go for it. This one's worth 3300 I got it for 2000 It was in like new condition, so if I do need to sell it someday, I'm sure I could sell it for at least 2000 meaning that I'm kind of owning it for free. That's my way of justifying spending a stupid amount of money on a lawnmower. But it tows stuff. Yeah, okay. I don't need to, I don't, I don't need to justify myself. got an impressive amount of features as well like and it's just so nice being able to hear things it's so quiet it's even got cruise control come on oh. <laughs> well that's my lineup of indulgences that all also happen to be electric vehicles ever since i was a kid i loved any form of motion whether it be bikes scooters stand-up paddle boards whatever and then when I became a teenager, I discovered the electric variants when it comes to electric scooters, electric bikes, and electric cars. 95% of any free time I get ends up going into one of these three vehicles. And so it just felt very fitting to make a video about my newest one because I love them all dearly. Of course, there are plenty more things I want, plenty more things. I'm always imagining that could be sitting in my driveway someday. But even though I do want other things, I 100% enjoy every mile of these things when I drive hundreds to thousands of miles straight in that one and when I go just a couple miles on that one except they're on some really crazy trails that I feel like I'm gonna die on. The center one that's more of a utility but it's still kind of fun and I got to show you all three in this video because I can and nobody can stop me so that's that. Thanks for watching.